More businesses and entertainment venues in Colorado are starting to require proof of vaccination. The Denver Center for the Performing and Arts announced its requirements yesterday. The new policy impacts everyone from the performers to the crew members behind the scenes and people going to see those great shows. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas is there right now. And Dylan, people working in the performing arts have been through so much. They say if it's going to keep the doors open, that's the best news of all. Yeah, Jim, for about the past year and a half, these doors here at the Ellie Calkins Theater have largely remained locked. Every single canceled show means more time that the crew, the cast, and others aren't making any money. Tonight, with a plan for a vaccinated return to the stage, those who work these shows tell us they're hopeful for the future. Seeing the Denver Performing Arts Center make that kind of announcement, uh, to me, it's just wonderful. For Christopher Lutz, the Denver Center for the Performing Arts decision to require vaccinations was great news. For more than a year and a half, the audio engineer's career has been, well, muted. It's been like the year-long vacation that I never asked for. The performing arts as a whole has been among the most drastically hit businesses during the pandemic. With vaccines for those 12 and older and negative COVID test results for those 11 and younger now required to attend shows. This public health decision by us as resident companies on the arts complex is really a message to say, we want you to come back. We have missed live theater so much. When you're sharing an armrest with someone right there in the theater, often a tissue is well, you need to make sure that everyone feels safe in the environment. Lute says this decision brings the audience up to speed with the cast and crew. So they're doing rapid testing uh, to all stagehands now, and there's also a vaccine requirement too. So across the industry, this is where everything's moving toward. After more than a year of being away from the stage. So we're all just real happy to get back to work and start doing, uh, you know, what we're really good at doing. And all of us are excited for them as well. Once again, if you are 12 or older, in order to get into any of the performances, you'll have to have proof of your vaccination. If you're 11 or younger, you'll have to have proof of a recent negative COVID-19 test. And no matter your age, if you have a ticket and you're going to a performance, you must wear a mask the entire time. Reporting live at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.